This video will go down in history in the Guinness Book of Records. The first time ever a YouTuber asks for thumbs down. If you do have a YouTube channel or would like to have one or are just interested how YouTube algorithms work, in this video I'm testing the thumbs down factor. But in video 113, you'll find the link below, I already tested the YouTube audio algorithm, the results of which were quite interesting. And if you want to find out how that works, whether you can put 30 seconds of copyrighted music or even 3 seconds, you'll find an explanation in this video and also how I intend to test the thumbs down factor. So whether you listen to it all or not, if you would like to be part of this test, please give a thumbs down to this video. That is the whole point. Thank you. So this channel, as you may have noticed, is aimed at the Czech population, at people who speak Czech, Slovak, Polish people follow this channel. And in this case, I'm also recording this part in English because it might be useful if you found this video on YouTube, you might want to give me a little helping hand or a thumbs down. I'm testing the YouTube algorithm for a thumbs down situation. If you have a YouTube channel or you're just interested in how the YouTube algorithm works, let me first explain my previous previous test, which was video 113 here, where I tested the, the sound algorithm, how YouTube analyzes songs, famous songs, and how they flag it or not flag it, or it can be demonetized or not. That was an interesting experiment, and I'll explain now how, very quickly, how the YouTube audio algorithm works. So in video 113, there are more than 45 snippets of very famous songs all cut together. Now, usually the way the YouTube sound algorithm works, it doesn't listen to the whole song. It works like fingerprinting. If you've ever seen a CIA film, you know, Agents and Spies, they're looking for a fingerprint. So you've got the screen with the photographs of the criminals and then the fingerprint. And it's running, it's going, buh, 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 and they match the fingerprint. This is the same thing that YouTube does, but not with fingerprints, but with the sound wave. You all know what a sound wave is. A song has a sound wave. It spikes going up and down, or waves, if it's slower. So if, for example, you play a longer snippet of a famous classical piece, the first thing that YouTube does, it recognizes that that is pertinent to their classical music copyright library. So the algorithm will go there, and then it'll start sorting out, and it'll just find out imprints of the beat, of the speed, and more or less of the musical instruments or the voice in that song. It'll start lining up your video's sound wave to their library of sound waves to the point where they find a match. Bingo. Now, the interesting thing about video 113 was that, as I said, there were more than 45 bits and pieces of song. And that video, it's been there a month now from around mid-February, 24th of February. It hasn't been flagged. It hasn't been signaled as demonetized. No copyright claim. That was rather interesting because it's happened to me before where I've used a short piece just as an intro to a spoken video, and that bang immediately got signaled for demonetization. I don't actually monetize any videos. I've got no ads at all. And I don't intend to. So that can have no effect on me. But then there are copyright claims where YouTube basically states, somebody has an issued a copyright claim. This has no effect on your channel. You don't have to do anything. But for example, you can't put any ads on there, right? Because if YouTube disallowed using bits and snippets of songs, then half YouTube would be empty. There are some videos which use very famous copyrighted songs. They've got 5 million views. They can't put any ads on there. But, you know, people do it for fun or people because they're passionate about music. Let's move over to the thumbs down and the thumbs up algorithm. Thumbs down and thumbs up have no influence at all on the way your channel progresses. The only thing that's important to YouTube is the minutes or the hours of how long people listen to any of your videos. It's a bit like if you go and do a conference and 300 people turn up and you're going to be talking about, I don't know, anything, whatever. Let's say, let's just choose something silly. Let's just say you're going, to, you're going to be talking about the moon landings. So you've got 300 people there. Your conference is planned to last 45 minutes. And after the first two minutes, 300 people walk out. That was a big thumbs down. That was actually 300 thumbs down. Has no influence on your conference. You can continue for the rest of the time and you can try and do another conference next time. So the thumbs down is just a sort of signal to you. It's your sort of monitor to tell you that whatever you were talking about was rubbish or it, it didn't reach the audience you wanted to. Or basically, 
basically you just fucked up and screwed up. The same thing applies to the YouTube channel and your YouTube videos, or so YouTube state. If you Google the meaning of thumbs down, thumbs up, the influence it has on your channel, there's nothing there from YouTube. It's just other punters, other YouTubers who state their opinion on that. And basically everybody is saying that the thumbs down or thumbs up has no actual influence on your placement. Your placement is, by the way, if you do a video with a, with a million views, it'll get top to that category or it'll go pretty high. That means it'll be found easier, faster. It's like Google SERP results. If you have a YouTube video with 10 million viewers who've listened to most of it, let's say, and they will give you a thumbs down, that doesn't influence the propagation of that video and also the ad placement. OK, I am not so sure about that. I haven't tested this yet because on my channel, because it's, it's a political channel and I appeal to a certain audience, I usually get, I don't know, 300 thumbs up and two thumbs down. And those are the leftists and the American Democrats, because I'm sort of doing center a little bit to the right politics. So in this video, I've invited my Czech audience, and I'm also inviting you, anybody who understood what I've just said in English, to give me a helping hand or a helping thumb down. This is just an algorithm test. You know, it's not left, right. It's just a test mathematics and to see how the algorithm works. And my request here is please give this video a thumbs down down. What I'm looking for is afterwards, if you have a YouTube channel, you know that you have your own internal statistics. And I'm looking for something in those internal statistics, the actual wave of the progression of the whole channel. And I want to see if something changes with the thumbs down. Generally, people say it won't. Well, this is my attempt to try and find out if it does or if it doesn't or how, if at all. So thank you very much for your thumbs down. And there will be another video about this, depending on how long it takes, maybe two weeks, maybe 10 days, where I will also explain the results of this YouTube algorithm test. Take care.